Hey, what's up everybody? I just wanted to do a quick update video. I know it's kind of been a while since I posted, but what I've been doing is, is printing this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, specifically Raphael, on about three printers. I just bought an Elegoo Neptune 4 Max, uh, pre-owned and used uh, directly from Elegoo on, for a really, really good price. And I have pieces going on that. That's the front chest piece. Uh, we have both arms, which I think the other arm, let me see, I got pieces everywhere guys, so I got both arms, the one half of the upper torso, the, I don't know, I don't want to call it a helmet, I guess the face, <laughs> the, the, the face head, there you go, Ralph's head, we have that there, and then we have these turtle shell pieces, now this turtle shell is huge when I originally looked at the file guys I really thought I was gonna be able to just print the turtle shell in two halves so basically it would be like half the shell and then half the shell but it is way too wide in whatever orientation or direction you put it to actually print it in one piece on an Elegoo Neptune 4 Max 3 Max or a CR 10 Max so I had to cut this up into a little bit more pieces than I wanted to so it's going to create a lot more cleanup and joint and seam repair than I wanted to but guys it was the only way I was able to do it I also printed this hollow this doesn't actually have infill it has about I want to say five perimeters and it's hollow inside because if I actually printed these pieces with infill it would have took <laughs> days, guys. I mean like six, seven day prints, I think, with infill. Without infill, I was able to cut down the majority of these pieces to about two days, I want to say. Two to three days. And that's on the CR-10 Max and the Neptune 3 Max. Now on the Neptune 4, hollowed, I probably could have got it down to about a day, I want to say hollow so yeah if you're printing this turtle shell print it hollow guys you don't really need the infill especially if you're just displaying it or making a mold for it that's the the bottom half over here you can tell I'm running out of space here is the rest of it and it's just it's phenomenal guys the the modeling and the detail is just out of this world uh, Delta designs cog or cog he did an incredible job he's actually currently working on a mouthpiece with teeth and eyes for the ralph head or any of the turtle heads whichever one you would purchase for him it's going to now have the teeth and the eyes which he sent me some photos and it looks absolutely incredible i can't not wait to get it from him uh but yeah guys just a quick update video this is where i'm at these pieces are massive, and I'm really trying to print them in the least amount of pieces possible because as you can see, we have this texture here, and the more seams, it, the harder it's going to be to blend all of this and make it look nice with this texture here. If this was a smooth surface and I was adding the texture myself, I wouldn't worry about it too much, and I would have probably cut it up in a lot more pieces but because of the texture, it's going to create a lot of the post-processing and sculpting work. It's going to create a lot more work for me with more cuts. One other thing I wanted to say is Orca Slicer, Prusa Slicer, they suck, guys. <laughs> they suck for models. Like It just doesn't work. So if you are purchasing this model and you want to 3D print it, I could not get Prusa Slicer or Orca Slicer to work with this model. Anytime I would try to slice for G-code, it just hangs. It, it couldn't handle it, it couldn't do it. And the reason I think is because of the tool paths. So because you have so much texture, it creates a lot more tool paths for each layer. It's not like the layers just going around in a nice, perfect, you know, circle. This is literally, because of the texture, going like this. For thousands of layers and I think that's me it just can't handle the texture I'm sure if this wasn't textured they would work but because of this model being textured it's not a heavy file 
uh, megabytes wise. It, it, it's perfect actually in terms of file size. It's just the texture. And I'm really thinking that's what's keeping those uh, slicer programs, Orca Slicer and Prusa Slicer, uh, why they keep hanging when I'm trying to slice for G-code. So I gave up on Orca Slicer and Prusa Slicer. I'm not using those for this project. What I am using is an old version of Simplify 3D. Simplify 3D 4.12 or 4.2, I don't know. The older Simplify 3D slices this no problem. So yeah, all this model is sliced using Simplify 3D, which is a paid software. And for stuff like this, now I know why it's paid because it just works and it doesn't give me any issues when it comes to slicing highly detailed models like this. That's where I'm at guys. I'm gonna continue printing. Like I said, I have the upper chest piece on here. On one of my printers in the room, I have the other side of the torso. This is a five day print for that. And then once all that's done, then I gotta start printing the leg pieces, the elbow pads, and uh, the size, and his belt, which I'm also waiting on. Th those didn't come scaled with the files, so those are getting upscaled for me by the modeler. So yeah, guys, we're on with this project. It's crazy, I'm so excited to finish it. It just looks incredible. It looks exactly like its movie counterpart, so. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We're on to the next one.